All right, then let's move on to the MCG yesterday. This was uh, a great crowd and a pretty good game too. Yeah, it wasn't bad, TJ. It was an interesting one because uh, I thought the Western Bulldogs dominated the game for three quarters. Richmond kicked eight goals to two in the second term, including seven goals in a row. And Luke Beveridge and his Bulldogs have been really poor at halting momentum. They have goals kicked against them in spurts too often. Bontepelli was unbelievable. His past fortnight has been up with his best, and it's already a very good career. Not just his game, Damo, but his leadership, yeah. outstanding. And uh, the Western Bulldogs absolutely beat up Richmond around the footy. And the real concern for Richmond is their ball use. They went at 59% by foot again, and that has been an issue for them all year so far, Brownie. Yeah, plus 18 in clearances yesterday, the Western Bulldogs were. So around stoppages, particularly centre-bound stoppages, you want to create space, but you also want to protect your space. And I thought the Bulldogs did that so well against the Tigers yesterday. So let's have a look. All the space here for Tom Limbratore is around here. So the Dogs, they own the space on this side of the stoppage. And this happened all day as we roll the tape. And Limbratore, big fellow, every bit of space is on this side. He gets a very easy clearance out of the middle. So creating the space and then protecting your space again. They've got all this space here. Um, the Ruckman, they don't win that tap, but because they've got the space, they can get out quite easily. So this happened all day, plus 18 in the clearances. And now, this is Tom Libertor. Have a watch him. He's not getting his space, but he's protecting his space. So he's pushing all the way back, which is something Richmond didn't do yesterday. So pushing on his opponent to keep that space. Marcus Bontempelli again. He's up against Hopper here, protecting his space, and he was just too strong. Time and time again in the middle of the ground. Again, let's have a look at this one. Two Richmond, two Bulldogs players pushing away the Richmond opportunity, and then they get the ball inside. They're just a bit tougher, a bit stronger inside, and they use their bodies really well. They go down, they kick a goal from this, and there's one more. Again, Bontempelli over the other side, just pushes away from his opponent, goes through. I thought they put on a master class against the Richmond midfielders yesterday. Great vision, Brownie, and it was a difference in the game, and it's a reason that Richmond went out and recruited Hopper and Taranto, and you got Prestia, and you got Martin, and you got Bolton, and these guys, but their lack of spread from stoppage afterwards, once they were beaten, was damning, so bought the players in, but absolutely smashed in that area, yeah, so, which is a concern for you'd be concerned, which, which was the concern prior to the start of the year. You've sold your future for, for two players who are poor ball users in Hopper and Taranto, so their role is to win stoppage and win clearances, and they were beaten up in that area. So they got issues, Richmond. Where are they at, do you think, Richmond? Oh, I think they're just ordinary. I think they're slow through the midfield. They continually have soft tissue injuries. Again, to Graham last week, that comes up every year. Mm. And you got some question marks over there, veterans in Cochin and also Revolt, TJ. Well, the biggest question mark at the moment, though, is about the man that Damo's about to tell yeah, us about. Yeah, it'll be a match review uh, decision made today on what Tom Lynch did in this particular moment where Alex Keith was uh, connected and, and collected and, and, and subbed out of the game for concussion reasons. Now, in the split-second moment, these things happen. But, Kane, I'm keen to see what you've got to say uh, about this and all other matters relating to well, hang it. On, but hang on, hang the on. element of it, just before we get to Kane, uh, TJ, yeah, is, did, he, did he actually have an option but to do what he did? Well, I, I, I I, I'm, I'm sympathetic to what he's done I don't think there. that's a suspension. No, what he needed to do, TJ, launch, drive his knee into the play and put his hands up. Yep, when yep. you just turn like that, they're yep. going to ask him, what were you trying to do there? He'll say, I was trying to protect myself. Which, which but, he was, I think. But, yeah. but you've got to probably do that in a different way. That, yeah. That's where he's... So, so you expect that to be a week? I, can, I wouldn't surprise me if yeah. they give him... What do you and think, the fact mate? he was subbed out. I don't think he deserves a week, but based on what the AFL have done this year, the tribunal, yeah. he looks like he might get a week. It doesn't deserve a week, though, but I agree with Lord. Hands in the air might have been better. Well, it was a contentious issue, and uh, it certainly didn't miss the eye or the ear of Kane Corns. Oh, oh, it's Volcano Worth. <laughs> And the volcano is for the Richmond coach, Damien Harwick, for this exchange post-match. What for? What Alex Keith was concussed. Hey? A, Alex Keith was concussed. Yeah, from what though? There was an incident. There was a collision. Yeah, what you're saying, an incident, I don't know what incident are you talking about, the one... There was an incident in the first quarter. Yeah, in a marking contest? Yeah. Yeah, well, who knows? That was raised on the broadcast that he might be in trouble. Oh, it's raised on the broadcast, is it? So, that's... But I've listened to the broadcast recently. They're not great. Yeah, so I thought he came across as a, a sore loser and he clearly knew what the journalist was asking him about and the incident he was referring to, so he, 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 he played dumb in that moment. That's not been tough in a marking contest. That is Tom Lynch once again having an alternative other than marking the footy. He could have marked the footy, he chooses to bump, and clearly in today's environment, that is going to be looked at. And Damien Harwick should have been conscious that that was going to be a question that would have come his way post-game. All right, he's had a nice crack at Fox, isn't he? How are you he? going to go to the Premiership reunion with Dimmer? No, it's fine. I, I, it's nothing, <laughs> nothing personal with Damien Harwick. I just think if he had his time again in the current landscape with football, 
uh, it's clearly going to be a talking point. Lynch will miss a game for that. He'll, he'll get suspended. He had an alternative to Mark. He chose to bump. Alex Keith is subbed out of the game in the first quarter through concussion. And obviously, the journalist is not doing his job if he didn't ask that question. Exactly. 